Welcome back. Today, we'll be covering the rest of DraftSite's dimensional constraint features. As a recap, they work to secure important relationships between your entities, and they're especially convenient when drawing particular measurements because you can double-click on any dimensional constraint and specify the values of each dimension, starting with the linear feature in the dimensional section of the constraints tab of the ribbon. It defines a horizontal or vertical dimension between the selected midpoints or angles of your entities, and then maintains that linear slope between them. Located under the same icon, the horizontal and vertical constraints do exactly what their name suggests. They define the horizontal or vertical dimensions between the selected midpoints or angles of your entities and then preserves that horizontal or vertical distance apart. Finally, the Align feature inserts a distance dimension that's not strictly vertical or horizontal between two midpoints or angles and maintains that distance between them. Keep in mind that after selecting these icons, DraftSite asks you to specify whether your dimensional constraints adhere to points, lines, or entities. So I hope you try out the rest of DraftSite's dimensional constraints to do more with your drafting experience. If you're looking to learn more, visit the blog page or visit DraftSite.com.